Good day, everybody. Today we are going to talk about why do we do hypothesis test for the mean. So I'll share my computer screen with you. Hypothesis test for population mean. The problem is we do not know the actual value of the population mean. Example, suppose I want to find the mean age of population of students at a college. I cannot reach all of the students, physically not possible. So I'll select a random sample of students, say sample size equal to 36. Suppose the sample mean age comes out to be 21. Next, I hypothesize. That is, I make an educated guess of the population mean age, which is indicated by the symbol mu zero as 20.5. How far is the sample mean, which is 21, located away from the hypothesized mean? It is 21 minus 20.5 is equal to 0.5. So my null hypothesis is mu equal to 20.5. My alternate hypothesis mu greater than 20.5. We have to standardize the difference of X bar from mu zero, which is 0.5, which I just now calculated, by the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of the sample means, which is also known as standard error. We know the standard error as sigma divided by square root of n, where sigma is the population standard deviation and n is the sample size. Suppose we already know sigma equal to one year and we know the sample size is n is 36. Then the standard error is one divided by square root of 36 or one divided by six, which is approximately 0.167. Thus the standardized test statistic, which is a characteristic of the sample I have collected is given as standard normal variable Z is the difference between the sample mean and the hypothesized population mean which I have already calculated as 0.5 divided by standard error. So 0.5 divided by 0.167 is three. What does it mean? It means a sample mean of uh, sample mean of 21 is located away uh, from the population mean by three times the standard error. And it is above the hypothesized population mean of uh, 20.5 by three times the standard error, okay? So then I show you a standard normal curve. It's a bell-shaped curve at the center where the peak is the highest on the horizontal axis, Z is equal to zero. We have relative frequency on the vertical axis. We want to find out what is the area under the standard normal curve to the right of Z equal to three in the right tail. We can do that by using the calculator TI-84. We press second and then verse, and then number two, which is the function normal CDF in TI-84. Now my lower boundary is from where I'm getting started, which is 3.0. And the upper boundary is a very large number on the right-hand side, which can be represented by one, capital E stands for exponent 99. How do I get capital E in the calculator? One, and then press second button, and then comma, which is on top of seven, and then type in 99. Remember, mu is zero because the standard normal curve and sigma equal to work. one. Then we paste, go to move the cursor and paste, and hit enter and enter. So we get the probability of Z greater than three is 0 0.001. So it, this is the probability of getting a test statistic as extreme or at least as extreme as 3.0, which is 0 0.001, which is less than 0 0.05, okay? There, therefore, our decision is to reject 80 because there is a very low probability of getting a test statistic as high as what we have obtained. So if we reject 80, then we state, at alpha, which is the level of significance, which is one minus level of confidence. At alpha equal to 0 0.05, there is enough evidence to support HA alternate, which remember mu is greater than 
I believe 20.5 mu greater. So we are rejecting the null hy hypothesis because the probability of getting a test statistic as extreme as what we have obtained is very small 0 0.001, which is less than the level of significance 0 0.05. What is level of significance? It's the maximum probability of rejecting H0 when it is true. That is, it is the maximum probability of rejecting uh, H0 when it is true. That means making a mistake, making a wrong decision. We kept that probability at 0 0.05 and the probability of getting the test statistic at least as extreme as three is 0 0.001, which is less than alpha 0 0.05. Hence, we reject H0 and we say at alpha equal to 0 0.05, there is enough evidence to support the alternate that mu is greater than 20.5. So I'll stop here today. If you have any question, please uh, write a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And please subscribe to my channel.